Hello there, this is my tutorial how to build sugar box unloader that unloads the material in the water stream. So, this is kind of the finished product, but let's start with the first part. What is the minecart unloader? So it's this lower part in here. Uh, red wool and yellow wool is just a building block. So building block, rail, then we have to turn that around a little bit. Like this. Then we put a hopper. Coltron in top of hopper. Then put lava inside it. Then we put mud here. Rail. Bottom slab goes here. Then we need temporary block, building block, amethyst cluster goes here. Then we put the building blocks goes here. Then one temporary block here. Race goes here and here, power trails and normal race goes here. Then we need a dispenser pointing this way. We can remove the temporary blocks from here. And then this part is finished. Almost. Redstone block goes in here, not here, it goes here, now it's finished, and what this does, put hopper, my god, in here, and when it gets power, will unload everything inside the hopper minecart in here and the hopper minecart goes here. So this part is modified from the Ilmangas design in here. Original design is method and is inspector talon. Okay, let's build the next part. It's the shulker box unloader part here. material we need. So I'm going to just copy it from here. So building block goes here, here, here. Then we need temporary block here. And building block, building block. Then we need a temporary block here. The building block here. And think 
we need building block here and here. Let's answer uh, below this is building block. So we can build here. Temporary block, building block. Then we need uh, temporary block and target block. Then redstone here, here, and building block. Then we need a repeater here, repeater here with two ticks. Then we need to borrow one rail from here, like this. We don't have temporary rail in here, and we place this one, this goes down. So rail here and it goes up, and now we can put this back here. Then we need the dispenser here, and now redstone dust goes to here, here and here. Okay, what's next? So we can put barrel here and hopper pointing in the barrel this way and building block comes here. Then we need comparators on top of this and this one. Here came the observer pointing this way and the dispenser. Then we need the hopper going to this dispenser. And now we can put the observer pointing to here and uh, another type of observer pointing to this block. Okay, then we go behind. There was a dropper here. So dropper goes here, pointing up, observer, and then we need to put sticky piston here, and the redstone block here. Then we need the building block here, with the redstone dust. Sticky piston goes to here. Then two building block goes here and here. Hmm. Do you have extra blocks? Yeah, piston. No, I don't have uh, building block goes here and piston goes here. Okay, then we need to build this part here, so it's Check this one. Yeah, there's two building blocks here. So here, here. This temporary block, and this goes down. Then there's second temporary block, and two 
building blocks. Sticky piston goes in here. Pointing to this block. Now we can remove some of the temporary blocks and now it's redstone up there. So redstone goes here. And now it's hopefully 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 finished. We can test this one. Sugar box. Here, mine car comes in and it unloads it, and then the mine car goes down. So it looks like it works. And here is empty sugar box so this design was Gale Hammeron's design it's, it's completely the same except this hopper I removed it and mine card is instead of it Here goes the shulker box. Stone goes here from shulker box, and uh, here comes the empty shulker box. Same as here. I don't have a mine card now. here and in this design this hopper is locked but I cannot do that so instead of that I just drop the minecart down because if here is a minecart and this breaks the sugar goes to the minecart and not in this empty sugar box barrel So when this system keeps a mine card dispenser maybe because this is power I cannot do that. Yeah now it unloads it and when it's unloaded. This piston pulls back and my car goes down. And this basically locks this minecart and uh, sugar box goes here when it's empty. So now the uh, sugar box unloaded part is ready. And then there is. Uh, Item elevators 
So this needs uh, mine gods and this need mine gods. So I built the first elevator down here and it puts the hopper my gods in here. This is a tripper elevator one. So this was temporarily here. I have to change the direction of that. from here we need temporary book here this is for, just for testing purposes we need one trapper two I think this was a Dropper also, and then we need one dropper pointing this way. So this dropper always points to you. That's why we are going to put it from down here. for the elevator here yeah I think I have to move the barrage away from there okay now we're back and I made a little more space so here was the dispenser and here are the four droppers so next to them we are going to put a chest here double chest and one hopper goes to this dropper and then we are going to change this one pointing different direction so this goes here so every time this breaks mine god it goes to here and then this hopper put it here then we need to hop a clock not to hop a clock the uh, chopper elevator so I need one building block Building block goes here, redstone and observer looks always away from you. <coughs> so we are going to put it here and it looks this. Then we need to look down the redstone. And this one needs to look here. No, not here. Redstone dust goes here and it looks this. And then I think this is in the way. But the way I Power this side, just put observer, observer, one here, 
This one looks at here. And then one looking from here. And this one is connected to copper clock. And then we build second and dropper elevator here. Okay, so what we are going to change in here? We need to borrow this one. Built dropper tower in here. And then we need to put uh, put the rails back here. Take this one out, put it back here, put the dispenser back here. And then we are taking this out. And then observer goes this way. Stone back here. And now I had to check from here, so okay, we take some of this away and place it differently. So basically it's every second this one one and this one. Then we put redstone dust, redstone dust. And here, building block and redstone dust. Then we put here and here put in at the redstone. The last one here. So this dispenser just looks once the signal when the sugar box comes, so it, it doesn't give that many rail cards. And in here, I'm putting mine cards from the hopper clock. So this part here. And here is the hopper clock materials. And it's built in these spots here. Could be in the different direction if you want to build build it. But it basically here. Ito hopper clock. So there is a block comparator. Droppers are pointing to each other. Comparator this way. Block redstone dust. Two sticky pistons and Redstone block in the middle of the sticky pistons. And this just looks my. This looks the redstone block in here and gives signal to my hopper ele and, uh, dropper elevator. So. 
clock goes somewhere here. You can decide where to put it. And then I had this. It was the hopper clock stopper. So if you don't stop the hopper clock, it just puts items between these. You can take it out from here. So now the hopper clock works. And it gives signals to the dispenser that moves the mine cards. And when there is no sugar box here, then it blocks the clock. So it was built in the this spot here like this and then there was sticky push them pointing down that it have space right here I think I could take that down so it was here, temporary block, building block, then redstone dust, top of it, redstone torch, uh, sticky piston going down, and redstone block here, and the Ito hopper clock is here. Built like this. And I have 16 items, so basically it's about one stack per eight items. Not the exact number, but quite close. Okay, there it goes. Now it's finished. So you connect waterlock this and you connect this to your storage rooms water streams so i have here a little test system water goes here and i have hoppers under the honey blocks the big items and put them in the sugars System works. You put just it's just the same as this uh, sugar unloader. So you put sugar box here. It gives sugar box here, unloads sugar box, and when it's uh, empty. Then this piston gonna pull and drop the hopper, my god, uh, down there. And then this empty sugar can go here. And uh, here I just dispense many mine cards. was two stone over over two stacks with 16 items in the clock any number of the sugar boxes here and it 
automatically unload them. Prototype system works same as any other system that I have built here, but these are just redstone goes different road and uh, dropper elevators are different place. So I built new system in here and thought a little bit more about the roads where I can move items and uh, save some material yeah there is really really system for you if you need to move items in the water streams thank you all for watching this video thank you and goodbye